everyone, I'm Allie Buckman with the Potomac Bead Company and today I am going to be playing around with some Ava beads to make this fun Cleopatra design. The cool thing with this is it uses both of our exclusive products, or two of our exclusive products I should say, the Ava bead as well as the round trio bead. If you need any of the materials to do this Cleopatra bracelet, you can go to the left hand side here and we'll do a little drop down menus for you that you can click on. If you happen to be on a mobile, you'll have to go underneath, those little click ups don't, don't happen, there's little pop ups. Go underneath the video here to the description that says what's the video, what the video is about. Click the little show more button and that'll give you details and links to all of these. For the Cleopatra, we're going to be using the Ava bead. It's our newest bead and it is an A-shaped or a V-shaped bead, hence the name Ava bead. So with the Ava bead, it actually has two or possibly the way that you're looking at it, three holes. It has one hole that goes through the top and then two holes at the bottom one straight across from one another, which leaves it open in the center um, into kind of a peak there. I'm calling it the Cleopatra because it reminds me of an Egyptian eye with that kind of spiked makeup at the end that Cleopatra is famous for. When you are working with the Ava beads, this one here is the Crystal Labrador Ava, and then the Round Trio, which is our three-hold six-millimeter round bead. The one in the middle here is the White Shimmer, and then just some 15 O's and these are some uh, Toho 15 O's. For the example that we're making today, I'm gonna change it just a tiny little bit. We're gonna use two different sizes of seed beads. For my Ava bead, I am using the Jet Hematite color. I have my round trios in one of our new colors, which is metallic purple. And for the round trios, you're gonna need about um, 14 to 17 of the round trios when you're working with them. In addition to the that 14 to 17 round trios, for the Ava bead, you're going to double that number. So in my case, I will double that number 14. I'm going to need 28 of my Ava beads. In addition to the round trios and the Avas, we are also using 11 O's and 15 O's. The 11 O's that I am using are the silver lined gray color. They kind of give a nice bright pop to it. And then just to add a little bit more color on the outer edge, I'm using the 15O in the transparent gray rainbow of that 15O. At the very end of the bracelet, I'm going to make it a little fancy, and I'm going to be using the clasp here, which is a clasp garden clasp. It is a rhodium plated Swarovski crystal in the middle made in Germany push clasp. So I have one end of it and then the other end that pushes together with it. We're gonna be creating the center row first and then moving to the outer edges. The whole thing is gonna be strung on point zero zero six wildfire beading thread, and I'm choosing to use the white color in the wildfire. I'm also gonna be using two size 12 needles to work with to weave back and forth throughout the project. I always like to have handy with me a needle nose pliers, as well as a thread burner or a cord cutter. The burner, I like to take my thread burner and actually get my wire off my spool, as well as at the ends when we actually tie the threads together, I like to create kind of a burnt end so it creates a stop for the knot that we do. The little pliers here then is going to flatten out any little uh, bulge that we get from that thread burner and make it easier for us to thread our needles. I also have sitting handy some super new glue. And the Super New Glue is great if you aren't a thread burner person, you don't like them. Uh, Super New Glue works great to kind of seam those two thread ends together. I am working on a nice workable surface. If you have a bead mat or a bead on it board, something like that, it really does help to have a nice, clean, workable surface. To get started, we are going to be using the round trio beads. And you want to make sure with any sort of multi-hold bead that when you're working with it, that all the holes are open. The round trio, like I said, has three holes. You want to make sure that your needle is going to go through each hole. If it happens that your needle does not go through a hole, usually you can actually um, take a little size 10 needle and poke out the coating that is blocking it, or you can go for a tulip needle reamer or a tulip, ne tulip needle awl, and that usually pokes that through. If you have trouble with that, um, some of the beads, unfortunately, the holes will be blocked. 
I always tell people to watch our videos on the production of these awesome check glass beads and you get a little bit of a deeper appreciation for what goes into the manufacturing process, especially with our Ava beads that are hand pressed. Again, to get started, I want about five feet of beading thread with a needle on the right and a needle on the left side. We're gonna be working with our round trios and our two seed bead sizes, as well as our fun, pretty clasp. So to get started on our project, I have my thread and I have a shorter piece of thread here. I'll have to go and actually add a new piece of thread, but I like to keep a shorter piece for a frame. But if you do five feet, you should have enough to complete the project. To start out, I'm actually gonna be adding my clasp. I'll have the opportunity then to reinforce and redo that clasp. I'm gonna put one of my needles through the clasp and bring it out to the other side. Once I have the clasp on, I'm going to add four of my 15 O's seed beads on my right needle and four of the 15 O's on my left. Let those all drop down next to your clasp. After that, I'm gonna go ahead in and use one of my 11 O's, two 11 O's, three, and four 11 O's. I'm gonna take my second needle through those four 11 O's as well, going in the same direction. When I look at the bottom then, I'm gonna have that loop that was created with those four 15 O's and then the four 11 O's that the thread goes through both or the thread each piece goes through those 11 O's. After this period, it gets very consistent and we're gonna do the exact same thing over and over till you add your 14 to 17 round duo beads, or round trio beads rather. I'm gonna put both needles, my right needle and my left needle, through the center hole of the round trio. What I'm doing now is getting my baseline of my project. The baseline of the project here, you can see runs straight down the middle of the trios. Once I have on my round trio through the center hole, I'm going to split my needles, pick up four more 11 O seed beads, which are gonna fit right in that space between. Take those down a little bit on the right needle and then put the left needle through going in the same direction. Once you have this started, you're gonna continue adding your round trios on in the same fashion, having two threads go through each hole, each hole of the round centered hole of the trio, and then picking up those four 11 seed beads and having both needles go through in the same direction. I'd go through one just a little bit and then push it down so you can put the second needle through that same direction. Push down and continue on with your pattern, adding in all of your round trios with the 11 O's on each side. Once I have my 13 beads in place here, and then I have my four extra seed beads, what I'm gonna do is basically the same that I did on this side here. Separating the needles, I'm gonna add four of my 15 O's, take that same needle and sew through the clasp, pick up the other thread, add four 15s, and sew through that same loop of the clasp in the opposite direction. That will take one needle to the right of that loop of the clasp and one needle to the left. Now to kind of reinforce and to pull it down, like I said, we'll have an opportunity to reinforce so you have more than two threads because we're going up and down the project. The needle that's on the right-hand side is gonna go through those bottom four beads, through two of the 11 O's and out. On the left-hand side, same deal, through the four 15s on the left, through the two 11 O's and out. 
giving a nice tight pull, I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any extra thread attached. If you do happen to be using a push clasp, at this point, it's easiest just to unclasp it and to be able to work from one side of the bracelet to the other. We now get to have the fun of putting on our Ava beads. To put on the Ava beads, it's the same pattern almost and the same idea except we're just using the Ava beads. To do the pattern, we have the Ava bead here, one that's gonna face to the right and one that's gonna face to the left. They're gonna cup around the round trio going through the outer holes of the round trio. My needle that is on the right hand side is gonna pick up the Ava bead pointing to the left and go through the hole, the first hole of the bead pointing to the left. Once it's through there, I'm gonna pick up my round trio, go through the outer hole of the round trio, kind of force my Ava to cooperate, and then go through the second bottom hole of that same Ava bead. That pulls that first Ava in. On the opposite side, the Ava is gonna face with the point towards the left, go through that first hole, pick up the round trio, going through the outer hole of the trio. You just wanna make sure also that you are catching all the holes of the round trio and that by accident you're not sewing into the middle hole. Then go through the second hole of that same Ava bead and out. This pattern is gonna continue the whole length of your bracelet. That's gonna give you your opportunity, in my case, to add in my 26 Ava beads. If you have yours, it might be just a tad bit longer, but those Avas are just gonna sit right in between on either side of your round trio bead when you're looking at it. They're gonna sit pretty perfectly. A little bit of thread may be exposed, but don't worry, because as we come back and do the kind of decoration of the Cleopatra, it will cover up that thread. You're gonna continue on adding in your Ava beads, sewing through your round trio, and then sewing through the next bottom hole of the Avas. So we're gonna go up the right side and up the left side, adding in our Ava beads. So I'm at the end of the design here and I'm getting ready to kind of reinforce the end and then to come back and add my fun little decoration around the Cleopatra eye there. To finish off the project, I'm going to reinforce the clasp and I'm going into the same method that I started at the end, skip over two of the 15 or the 11 O seed beads and go through the last two 11 O's. With my needle on the left, I'm gonna do the same thing skip over two and go into the last two 11 O's. The needle that's on the left hand side, I'm gonna go through the 15 O's right along the edge there, through those four 15's, through the loop in the clasp there, which is gonna put a second strand through and down through the four 15's on the opposite side. With a needle on the right hand side here, I'm going to go up these four here on the right hand side. Then I'm gonna go through the clasp and down the four on the other side. Now that I've reinforced the edges, I'm gonna come down the sides of the project. To come down the sides, we are going to actually be coming down to that same hole of the Ava bead, and we're gonna add in an 11 O C bead right in between. The reason that we didn't add the 11 O in as we were working on it is because it sometimes will kind of push the Avas out. We want it to sit almost a little bit on top of those two Avas. To get back to that first hole, I'm gonna mimic what I did at the start, going through those two 11 O's, I'm gonna add one 11 o and go through that same hole through the Ava bead and out. Once I'm out the Ava bead, 
add on an 11L and go through reinforcing that line again. Go straight down, add in the 11O there, and then straight down. So all I'm doing, oh, just one, two wanted to go. All I'm doing is adding one 11O in between the Ava beads, basically. Once you have one 11O in between on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, we're gonna go ahead in and then actually connect it all and kind of decorate up the sides. But right now we're just coming down, adding one 11O, excuse me, one 11O in between each of our Ava beads, which is gonna cover that thread a little bit and kind of sit right on top of the design. So I've gone back down through the entire bracelet, adding in those little 11 O's. And when you're coming out of the last Ava bead, you wanna add an 11 O and then catch on to those two 11 O's that you've come down with the thread here. And when you're through those two 11 O's here, in the middle. You're also going to separate out your needles and go through the 15 O's. There's already two strands going through each one of these beads and you want to make sure that you're going to reinforce one more time by putting another one through. So I'm going through the clasp, reinforcing that area coming back down the opposite side. When I come back down the opposite side then, I'm gonna switch over to the other end here and do the same thing. Add another 11 o catch those two beads right there in the middle, and go through some of the seed beads up towards the top. Go through the clasp again, and that's gonna put you so that you have four pieces of thread through these little end beads and through the clasp, which is great. Once you come down the side here of the clasp, we get to finish up our Cleopatra bracelet by adding in our design right along the end. When you're coming out the end here of the bracelet and having reinforced the clasp, I'm going to go down those two 11 o seed beads again coming out them and separating out my needles, one going out the left hand 11 o seed bead that we just added. And then the other one is gonna come out the right 11 o Once you're out the 11 o's, then we'll get ready to add our 15 o seed beads. Once you're coming out the 11 o we get to add five C beads on both the right needle and the left needle. This is gonna decorate the side here of our little Cleopatra design. To add the beads, simply pick up five beads on each needle, one on the right, one on the left. Sew through the top hole here of the Ava bead, which has really wanted to get beads. Add five more C beads, and these are all 15 o's that we're adding through the 11 o that you just added, and that decorates that little end. Pick up five more seed beads, and sew through the top hole of the Ava bead. Again, five. Sew through the 11. You can see why that 11 o why we wanted that to kind of sit up and not between the Avas, kind of forcing them off. I want it to sit in that nice geometric shape. So we have the little ending or the little fringe kind of there on the Ava beads. I have some done on the right. I'm gonna come down the left-hand side and do it as well. Five go on. I like to kind of flip it and turn it towards me so that way I'm always sewing on the right-hand side. And I'll come down a couple stitches on the right and then I flip over to the left, flip over to the right, flip over to the left. That way you make sure that your tension is pretty even throughout the project. After you have your five on there, go ahead and put five more on. 
and you just continue straight down your rows. Just get your five beads on each and that's going to frame out our little Cleopatra eye. As you get to the end of the design, the design excuse me, you have those nice arcos kind of being framed out. The 11 O's just sitting a tiny bit on top and the round trio is really popping along the middle. As I had said, you could do this as a necklace where you're coming down into a V shape. So if you have your V there, you'd come up and do kind of a V shape there, right as your little pendant. And you could even, one of my other videos here, you could, could stick a little pendant kind of there on the bottom if you do did want to do it as a necklace because it's also a fun design for that purpose. When you're coming out the end of the project, I have my last five that I've added on the right hand side. On the left hand side here, I'm going to pick up five as well. Sew through, like I did on the right, sew through that 11-0 on the outer edge. So that 11-0 right there on the side of the Arcos, or I'm sorry, the side of the Ava. So up through the project, going through the last two 11 O's, and coming out. The needle on the right is just hanging out right after the 11 O on the right hand side. I'm then gonna sew up through the 15 O's, and through the clasp, which is gonna take one more thread through that clasp, reinforcing it one more time. The thread will then come down on the opposite side. And once you're out the opposite side here, come back down those two 11 O's. And at that point, your threads will be touching and in the same location. Simply take off your needles and tie them in a knot. Right over left, left over right. That knot then finishes off your design. If you want to and you like the look of the outer edge too, here's a little design challenge for you. If you like the look of the outer edge of the Ava to have a little bit of a point on it, when you're coming through the Ava, all you have to do is spin around, add five beads, and go back through the Ava before adding the five. Go through the 11 0 seed bead, add your five 15s, go through the Ava, add five more 15s, swing around and back through the Ava. So that'll get you a little bit of a different design as well. I really love how this is kind of the most simplistic way to use the Ava beads, and it has a nice line down the center. It also features the round trio beads, which is great as well. Once you have that finished, if you want to, you can do a little dab of glue. I force the knot kind of to the back of the project, burn down the edges, or burn off the long pieces, and then burn down the edges, creating almost a stop on each of the thread ends. Once you have the thread ends completely burned down and burned off, then your project is actually finished. I also have thread ends in the middle here because like I said, I usually start with a smaller piece than what you have, so I usually kind of have to add some thread. The clasp really kind of highlights this bracelet too. When you put it on, the Ava beads look really fun and elegant on the wrist. And you'll just put the clasp on and add those two ends together. Putting on the push end, I had to do against my body, but you put on that push clasp and you have that beautiful Ava. You can see the bracelet ends up about seven inches here. If you want to make it a little bit longer, again, you're just going to add in another round duo. If you do need any of the materials to do this Cleopatra bracelet, you can go back to the beginning of the video. And in the beginning of the video, you'll be able to do that little drop down menu where you have the little drop downs here on the left hand side or underneath the video. Again, you can go back to the actual description underneath the video and do the little show more button, which will give you more details and links to all the products online. You can also stay connected with us in addition to shopping online by visiting us on Facebook, staying connected with us there by joining our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making, ask to become a member there, interact with people, see what people are doing with our new Ava beads, as well as some of our new colors of our round trios. Also, you can help answer questions and give design ideas to a wonderful community of beaders 
and of people that really love to create. I set this here for to show you and to give you an idea that you can always make this thicker by connecting another row of Avas as well and kind of make that zigzag bracelet. So it's a fun, great way, very simple way to use the Ava beads to have them kind of fan out and to get that fun Cleopatra look. As always, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel to get regular updates on new products like our Ava beads like the videos, that tutorials that happen, as well as what's going on in the beading world and some more info like that. Thanks so much for watching everybody and if you get your hands to get get a chance to get your hands on the Ava bead, have so much fun playing around with them. Thanks for watching the Cleopatra bracelet. <laughs>